this is all, we're gonna cut this is the, this is basically how things have been explained to me. So right here you have uh, MSNBC, CNN, ABC. This one's gonna be Fox. We're just gonna put that guy on the side. It says it says highlighter, not Hitler. Calm down, everybody. <laughs> and uh, here you have Black Lives Matter. So who is who owns Black Lives Matter? Who invests in Black Lives Matter? Well, the Clinton Foundation. Who else? George Soros. And this is Antifa. So now you have an event. The major news networks have to cover the event. An African American man is killed by police. It doesn't matter that he's a felon. Doesn't matter that he put a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach and did five years. It doesn't matter that he was in jail for cocaine. It doesn't matter that at the time of his arrest, he was on methamphetamine and fentanyl and was positive for COVID-19. Let's just throw all that out. That doesn't matter. Okay. Unjustly murdered by a police officer. So the call comes down the pipeline. We got to, we got to organize. So Black Lives Matter organizes all these peaceful protests, right? And they're all protesting, and they're fucking outraged, justifiably. But what else do you have? We have Antifa, who's paid for by George Soros. These are highly trained professional rioters and escalators. So they move in and disperse throughout all the different riots, right? And then the Clinton Foundation pumps money into promoting this stuff on social media and pushing the movement. And so the networks all scramble because they're, they're filming the social unrest. As these people are protesting, these professional rioters and looters start setting fires. They burn cop cars. They set up brick pallets. They destroy public property. And they stay in the shadows and hide behind and make it look like Black Lives Matter and African American culture as a movement is unruly, violent, and insane. The media then fucking films all of this shit, and this is all you see in your entire feed. But George Soros and Ted Turner and fucking Turner Broadcasting and the Rockefellers and the fucking list goes on, the Rothschilds, they own most of these media companies. And the media companies are making billions of dollars by advertising because everyone's transfixed to the news and everyone's talking about it. So what happens is, is that the same people who instigate the event and organize the protest and escalate the protest make money off the African American community's outrage and further deplete the morality of the United States. Additionally, while all this is going on, Hillary Clinton and her buddies are all on trial and they don't want this shit on the news. So this is a huge gaslight and people are not paying attention to what's going on. Now, why would they wanna do all this? Because they're afraid, first of all, that she doesn't get her appeal and she has to testify. She might be found guilty in a court and then be found, be found guilty of treason, which would mean she would either get jail time or she would be sentenced to death for, for being a traitor to America. The, the DNC is not going to be, be looked at a very good light in an upcoming election if that's the case. Uh, these people, right, the same people, these companies, all the same six big families, they're the ones who make money off outsourcing all of our products and every all of these services that we do to China. Okay, Donald Trump puts tariffs on everything that comes in from China so that they have to pay a tax to America so that we can rebuild our economy, which takes money away from these families. They desperately don't want Donald Trump to stay in office because they don't want people from the DNC to be prosecuted and go to jail for treason, and they don't want to fucking pay the tariffs to China and they don't want to build the American democracy because these people are, they're sick. They want to have control and they've been getting away with this gaslighting situation on the American people for so many years, they feel entitled to it. And there's a huge fucking problem going on where we have turned into this, this uh, citizens policing other citizens over a, a, a veil of racism that doesn't exist. I'm, I'm African-American, I'm 38 years old, I've grown up in this country, and I have not experienced actual racism. I have spent 20 years traveling through 48 states, and uh, how many countries? I don't know, let's say 50 countries all over the world. Uh, we don't have a problem with race here. 
and it's all manufactured. And yes, there is systemic racism, but the systematic racism is put in place by people like this. People, George Soros made his money by selling Jews to the Nazi party, by ratting people out. That's how he made his thing, okay? Hillary Clinton is friends with David Duke, who, who's the head of the KKK. The Democratic Party is the party that lost the Civil War. The Democrats wanted to keep slavery. That's what people don't understand. In 1856, the Democrats started the KKK. And I don't understand why we've erased this from the history books. And you can literally just look this up on Google. It's, it's just facts, just do your own research. So before you get upset, before you start to look at what's going on, before you are told the problem in America, just ask yourself what your own personal reality is. Are you racist? Do you really think you're racist? Do you really see a problem here? You see a video on YouTube, you see this, you don't, see, you don't know the statistics. You don't know that 95% of African-American men who are killed are killed by other African-American men. Black Lives Matter isn't there because it doesn't serve this fucking system. It's a political system. And they're using African-Americans and African-American pain and tragedy as a political shield to get their agendas done. And we have to stop this. So. Thanks.